Hello and welcome to another pen video from me, Penultimate Dave. So today I have another uh, Visconti uh, pen to show you. Now this was a pen um, that I got, uh, I want to think it's probably my third or fourth Visconti, um, maybe fifth, um, that, that I got uh, and added to my collection. So this was my uh, highest pen at that point when I when I purchased this and uh, um, this is a, a lovely pen so this is a Visconti watermark I'll remove the box lid so you can have a look it comes in this lovely lovely um, lacquered box and if I it's a very heavy box as well so if I remove that then you'll see here the lovely very heavy uh, lacquer box so let's lift the lid and inside you'll see the Visconti watermark now this is very very heavy I will try to uh, lift that up a bit there um, let's see if I can get a little bit more light on on the pen um, now I'll just go through the booklet it's just a standard Visconti booklet that you see so I'm not going to spend any detail uh, reading this out, but it uh, shows you the Visconti Villa, the uh, processing, the manufacturing of the pens, uh, heads of state, um, well-known actors and actresses, uh, some of the pens like the Divina, the Alchemy, uh, the Christian Bible, the Istos Arachnus there, some Rembrandts, Divinas, Michelangelo's and Homo Sapiens. And then you have the uh, watermark ID card here. So this is basically the uh, fountain pen version, 23 carat palladium, uh, palladium plated. So this is a um, uh, sterling silver, uh, 925, AG 925, and it's plated with 0.3 microns of palladium. Now it's an 888 limited edition run, and there's 200, this is number 224, and it's a double reservoir power vac filler as well. So that's the brochure that you get with the pen, and then you have this lovely, lovely pen. Now, unfortunately, this is a fingerprint magnet, um, so, this is one thing to bear in mind but the watermark it is a stunning pen so basically it's a transparent barrel and then you have these V's uh, cut into uh, the body now these V's go and um, point down to the left and then those V's point to the right so um, th this basically symbolizes the V for Visconti um, it has a uh, standard uh, bridge clip it has uh, an enameled uh, Visconti logo backfilled there. Uh, it has a finial there. Um, now this isn't a My Pens uh, removable finial, um, so you cannot put your initial or a jewel uh, or gemstone on there. Um, and uh, this is just uh, a lovely, lovely pen. And um, so in terms of the pattern here, You'll see if I zoom in a little here, you'll see watermark and nothing else other than that. Uh, and then on the end cap, you will see if I can get it to focus. There you go. The LE number there. So uh, this is a lovely, lovely pen. Now I have this inked up with Pilot Iroshizuku uh, Yuyaki. And uh, I, I do love the way that orange inks just look uh, and coat the barrel uh, in the pen. It's a stunning, stunning pen. So much work and effort went into doing these cutouts. Um, now in terms of... Um, how, how do these cutouts affect when you're handling and writing the pen? Um, they do not feel in any way sharp. If you try to like polish the pen with a microfiber cloth, then you will find that it will catch. So that's something to bear in mind. Preferably use a um, 
maybe a silver polishing cloth or something like that that, that won't catch so much but this is a lovely lovely pen uh, in terms of size um, in my hand it's it's actually quite a large pen if I unscrew the cap it is a um, a screw thread um, but uh, you can see the size here it's actually a, a, a decent size now you can post this um, but I wouldn't want to because if you do it is a behemoth so um, zoom out a little bit there you can see it's it is just crazy and I wouldn't really want to try and mark the uh, palladium uh, finish here um, either on the um, uh, on the pen now in terms of nib it's a 23 cap palladium nib and this is a medium nib and I really do like how this one writes um, this as I said I think this was probably the fourth or fifth Visconti I added to my collection and because of the price of the pen I did actually ask uh, the retailer if he would write with the pen just to make sure that the nib did write um, and it wrote flawlessly so uh, I, there was no problems there whatsoever and and that's pretty much how I've had most of my Visconti's the, the only issues that I have had um, were really the um, the wetness or dryness of the pen there were a couple of Visconti's that I have uh, purchased on Amazon that I have had to return where the nibs were misaligned um, there was one on Amazon and uh, I had a dark age uh, come from Colt pens where the gap in the tines was too large that uh, ink flow would be impeded and, and likewise it, the, um, the nib uh, would catch on paper when you try to write as well. So uh, I had to return that and unfortunately they had no, no uh, uh, replacement so I got a refund there. But those were the only two pens that I've really had problems with. Outside of that it's just been uh, the wetness or dryness of a pen. But this, this is such a lovely, lovely pen and uh, you can just see here just how, how that ink looks and, and swirls in that pen. But it's a very shiny pen, it's a very fingerprint magnet pen. Um, you also you can see here the double reservoir power filler just above the uh, screw threads there and that allows you to lock off the um, ink for when you're flying um, so that you don't get uh, the pen burping ink everywhere um, but uh, it is a fingerprint magnet so that's one of the downsides uh, about this pen is trying to keep it clean because uh, as soon as you pick it up you get fingerprints everywhere uh, over it so I think what I will do is we'll do a uh, weight and and size check here. So in terms of the the full length of the body, we're looking around about 145, 146 millimeters, and then the cap itself about 70 millimeters, and then the pen itself. Let's see if we're gonna stop this rolling. Um, the pen itself is around about 132, 133 millimeters. So th this actually comes into an oversized pen category. Now, in terms of weight, let's do a weight comparison here. So now this is going to be a weighty pen because it is solid sterling silver with a palladium coating to uh, to, to basically stop the uh, pen from tarnishing because silver tarnishes. So this is 65 and a half grams inked up with the cap. The cap itself is 35 and a half grams just over, and then the pen itself inked we're looking at just over 37 and a half grams so this is quite a weighty pen for sure not for everybody um, but uh, it is a lovely lovely pen so what I will do is we'll do a comparison with some other pens just so you can see what it looks like in terms of size 
So, from left to right, we have the Visconti Belgica, we have the Visconti Ecstasy de Oud, we have the uh, Speakeasy, we have the uh, Medici Il Magnifico, we have the Watermark, we have the Luxor Obelisk, we have the uh, Opera Silver Dust, we have the Homo Sapiens London Fog, we have a Divina Elegance uh, in green with rose gold trim, and then we have a Pelican M800 Royal Gold Raden. So let's do a writing sample. This is the Visconti watermark in a medium nib and it's uh, sterling silver. So 925 silver. Now this has a palladium coating. Now the ink in here is um, Pilot, just trying to think of the ink actually, Oshizuku Uyaki. Now in terms of uh, um, line variation it is a medium nib so without any pressure you do get that kind of line now if I want to add a little bit of a pressure now you have to be careful because it's not a flex nib or even a semi flex nib but you can get a little bit of line variation and depending on the ink you can get quite a bit of shading going on so this is kind of why I like uh, orange inks is that you do get a lot of shading so this is a really nice ink now in terms of wetness Right, let's just do a check here. So, the ink is quite wet. It's not a fire hose um, nib, um, but um, it's a wet writer for sure. Um, it will take a little bit of drying time. Uh, but uh, it, it is a lovely lovely pen uh, I do really like it and uh, in terms of shading like this is without any pressure you can see the shading of the ink that you're getting here so so this for me is is a really really nice ink and um, in combination uh, I know a lot of people will ink this pen up in blue ink um, they like that the blue sloshing around I prefer orange ink in it um, so this for me is a really stunning pen it's a very weighty pen uh, but it's a pen that I'm really glad that I added to my collection it's a beautiful writer and I do love writing with it so thanks for watching please like comment and subscribe and I'll see you on the next pen video bye bye <laughs>